problem came about about two, two to three years ago. We put new windows in, new doors, um, added a lot more insulation to our attic. Um, just basically overall tightened the house up. Mm -hmm. And as the fall and winter came, the humidity started to build in the house. We would right. start noticing a little bit on the windows. But the colder it got, the worse it got. We started having condensation on doors and windows that we'd never had it on before prior to all this, the work that we had done. Um, it really reached a peak last winter when we started having ice on the windows from the condensation. It would, it would actually freeze the condensation. The windows would be so soaked. Um, and then we found mildew and, and mold in our closets. Um, we started having some mildew issues in the bathroom. Even though we have a bathroom fan that runs constantly and we open the window, um, our toilet would sweat constantly and drip all over the floor. Mm -hmm. um, we had condensation dripping from a fan in our kitchen onto the floor. Um, so we did, we then noticed that we had more of a problem than running a dehumidifier in the winter. So you ran a dehumidifier? We, we ran a dehumidifier in the winter months to try to keep the windows from condensating. But the problem would be that at 60, if we got down to 60, 65 degrees in the living room, the dehumidifier would ice up and freeze. We started, we ran in the basement a little bit, didn't do anything at all, and we moved it to that spot right there, and that's where it sat every all winter long, and we just ran it. During the day, if, like for instance right now, we're, we are boiling a boiled dinner, and if this was a normal day without the system in, every window in this house would be soaked right now. We'd have to open the windows in the house when we were running the thing. You could never open this door without this window just going wet instantly. Right. Because the air would hit it. Right. So. And any idea what the dehumidifier did to your electric bill? <laughs> Killed it. And we only ran it at night. Okay. And a little during the day, so it wasn't even on all the time. Right. Because if we left it on, it ran all the time. Right. It was loud and obnoxious. Right. It did not solve the problem. We dumped, you had to dump it every day. And now the system's been on partially for about 24 hours. You guys woke up this morning. Clear windows. The condensation in this end of the house this morning was zero. Yeah. As opposed to covered windows. Right. And it was about a quarter of what it usually was at the other end of the house. Right. And, and we're half set up. And how does the air feel? The air feels much drier, more comfortable. I slept pretty good. Okay. See what happens tonight when it's all done. <laughs> Excellent. Clear windows. Clear windows. First time this time of the year in... First time this time of the year in about three to four years. Does the air feel any the air different? It feels a lot different. It's warm. I mean, Being it's 75 right. degrees in here, 53% humidity, and we just turn the system back on. We'll have that. On a day like today, if she was born on dinner, we'd be about 65, 66. We were 62 yes. yesterday. Yeah. Yes. Started the day at 62 yep. with wet windows. Is there a way to get education out there? Because part, the hardest part of our journey to get where we are today was lack of education, not knowing what to do. Why was our house doing what it was doing? We didn't know. We thought we did everything right. So, you know, you're getting humidity and you're getting mold on your walls. So, okay, when cold air meets warm air, we're thinking, okay, we don't have enough insulation in our walls. We need to make our house tighter. We would have been swimming. We just knew the dehumidifier was not the answer. And then in trying to find out what the best way, I contacted people about an air handler, things like that. And then someone else told me about a thermostore to put in your basement. Um, maybe your basement is humid and that's what's making your whole house humid. Cinder blocks for a basement, that doesn't keep water out or mm -hmm. it allows moisture in. Yeah, somebody um, wanted us to dig a six foot trench around our house and put a weeping system in. <laughs> I think it would have cost more than what we are spending now. Yeah, um, and then retar the whole outside of the foundation. There is education about the, out there about getting the lead out of homes. There's, of course, this don't smoke around your kids. There's all kinds of educations for things, but it just, this was one of the toughest things that I had to <laughs> figure out. Mm -hmm. And that, that, was, that was the toughest part of the journey. Until the mold set in downstairs and in the closets, that's when the panic set in. 
you know, at first we were just, you know, we spent our first one just wiping windows down and running a dehumidifier and thinking we had bad windows. Right. You know, we've done everything, just we got really bad windows and then you spend the next year doing it again. This time you put plastic over your windows, so now you've tightened it up and now my plastic's sweating. Last year was the kicker when we pulled his sleeping bag out of the closet and it was covered in mold. So then we knew we had a serious problem. I mean, we wake up stuffed up in the morning. I mean, five, six boxes of tissues right. a week. I think it should be broadcast right alongside when, you know, they're going to put the, put it on the news here. You know, oil's going up. They're going to show volunteers wrapping people's hot water tanks mm -hmm. and sealing windows and doing all this. It should be. And also remember, if you are tight and you have moisture in your home, you know, there may be other problems. Your home may not be drafty and your home may right. not be. Right, right, right. Uh, and though cinder block could let outside moisture in, it's not necessarily the only reason there's moisture in your house. Yeah, yeah. you might not need to weather strip all your doors because it's cold air condensating on the glass. It could be inside condensating on the glass. Well, that's what it is. It ain't, it ain't outside condensation. You no, know, but I, I think it's, it, it, it's it, tight and tight and tight and wrap, you know, seal up, seal up. I mean, the displays are all over the, in the, the stores. Oh. You trip over them at Home Depot and Lowe's. Right. Right. And, house, and who there house, told you about make sure you ventilate so that the moisture doesn't build up? Person. When we when we stopped in there and I started talking to them, you know, I cut the ridge vent myself on the roof. I ripped out all my soffits and put right. you know proper vents in and relined it with vinyl. Yeah. And they were all saying, Oh no, that should do it, that should do it. Exactly. No. And I'll tell you the other misconception out there, and maybe it is the truth, but I don't think it was our whole problem. When we switched to propane, mm -hmm. it was a a moisture type of heat, and that's why we we're having so much condensation. And that's what everybody told us. And that's what everyone told us. They told us it was. And when you say everyone specifically, who's telling you that? Home Depot. Home Depot, a <laughs> uh, contractor. You, you would just ask people, "Oh, you got propane heat? Yeah, that sweats my house right out all the time." And I'm like, "It's direct vent outside." It's outside. Like I didn't know what to do because I didn't have the education. Indoor air quality, or yourself, you know, if you put a commercial out there and you showed windows that looked like ours or you showed a wall that looked mm. like ours, mm -hmm. yeah. I would go, oh my God. <laughs> I, like I said, my sister has it. We're not the only ones. No. no. You know, I would be like, that's us. I would like to see someone else not make our same mistakes and spend all the money right. that right. we still got to the same point. Right. Right. With the dehumidifier, we almost put new windows in in the house. Those this the window mm -hmm. had a freezing snow thickness that thick from right here all the way across up here. And we almost replaced these windows again in April. We had right. a best window. We had, we had another window contractor here who mm -hmm. thankfully walked in and said, there's nothing wrong with your windows. Right. My hair is going to curl on its own if you don't get the humidity out of your house. Nobody had anybody to refer to us. The first time we ever heard the word air handbook was, was the insulation, the insulation company in Portland. I understand you need to tighten your house up, and of course everyone's saying your house was built in the 50s. They put paper bags in for insulation, you know? So we thought, oh, you know, we're in trouble. Right. I just, I don't want to see people make the same mistake we did and spend the amount of money to get to the point where they're really going to spend it anyway. But yeah, that was the first time we'd ever heard of an air handler. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what it was. And, but in Bangor... When we talked to people about it, they thought we were... You don't, you're not forced hot air. You, you, you have a little house. Why would you need to move the air around? If, you're not, if your air's not moving, you know, it, it was a very negative thought. We were crazy. Why did you just tighten up your home if you're going to turn on a fan and blow all your warm air out? And why am I going to tighten up my home when everybody's telling me to crack a window? <laughs> right, right, <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hello! And that was everybody's solution was turn your bathroom fan on, turn your kitchen fan on, and just open your windows. Um, and I'm like... The only reason I'm... <laughs> I know, come on guys, there's yeah. gotta be... Uh, I yeah. have a problem, somebody. Right, right. right. Somebody. There's gotta be the right solution. Go to school for right. architectural engineering, you know? And I, as my boss says, I didn't go to college, and my six years of high school tells me that I shouldn't do that, <laughs> you know? Okay, yes, we need to tighten our home, but there's another side of that. <laughs> Insulation companies, honestly, it should be cycled. We're going to tighten your house up, but these are some of, I wish and I, I know it's a bad way. It's like me saying, here, I'm going to sell you a soda, but it may rot your teeth or make you, if you drink 5,000 gallons of it. But 
there has to be some room for responsibility you, where you, I'm going to seal your house all up, and now they're foaming people's walls oh, yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. But some of the repercussions may be that you're going to need to talk to this guy. <laughs> if you left that old furnace in the basement and did all the insulation in the windows that you did, it may have backdrafted, and then you were in the carbon monoxide. And that yeah, and there's, 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 yeah. there's many. And that's the problem with the humidex. Anything that's blowing air out is you're depressurizing the house all the time. Yes. And not only do you have 100% heat loss, but you may start generating problems, okay. pulling in the exhaust fumes from different things. And the two years that we've done the research, we've discovered it isn't just the humidity that's the problem. Mm. You know, all the things that come, the asthma, the all the things that are coming right. from your house is being right. You know, I I think people would let four four thousand dollars over thirty years. Right. People who are willing to roll a $30,000 car into their mortgage and you're not willing to to take care of an air handler for your family? Come on. You know, we took out a loan to do this because it was the smart thing to do. Yeah. If we weren't a one-income family, maybe we would have had the money to cover it without a loan. But, you know, we do what we have to do. I think if people but, sat with you for 10 minutes, they'd put one in their home. I think, if they and sat I, with you guys and listened to what what you're witnessing as you go home to home and what you find in your meter readings and everything. <laughs> the education is what they need to be able to spend this money. You know what's strange? In other parts of the world, they already know all this. Yeah. Well, exactly. They put the, they put the uh, exchangers in before they finish yeah. the That's right. Cancer scares the living daylights out of all of us, but in reality, it's becoming a way of life.